How's it going guys, I'm Theojo, and if you've seen a lot of my videos, you know that I'm a huge fan of smart home tech and home automation, and I also hate cleaning. So when the robot vacuum company Roborock reached out to me wanting to sponsor a video about their top of the line robot vacuum, the Roborock S5, I just couldn't refuse. So yes, full disclosure, while this is a sponsored video, you guys hopefully know by now that I only do sponsored videos with products I genuinely recommend anyway and would use myself, which is definitely the case here. And I'll put any links in the description if you wanna check it out on their website or on Amazon. We can start off by talking about the most important major features some of which are pretty unique, and then I'll go over all the other cool features and of course my experience in using it. Probably the first thing I want to point out is that the Roborock S5 isn't just a vacuum, oh no. It also has a mopping attachment included. I'll go into detail about that later, but it's definitely something that sets it apart. Another great thing about the S5 is how it navigates. Instead of the old days where robot vacuums used to just bump around randomly, this model literally has a laser navigation system which you can see on the top actually spinning around when it's running. This is for more than just avoiding running into things, and it actually uses the lasers to simultaneously map the surroundings and plan an efficient cleaning route while it's going. Which brings us to my favorite set of features, the mapping functionality, because the vacuum will save the map it creates, assuming you have that setting enabled, which I think is absolutely essential, and this allows for so many cool features I barely know where to even start. First of all, you can use the map to add virtual no-go zones where the robot vacuum will avoid those areas, and you can also add virtual barrier tape which are basically just no-go lines where the robot will not cross those. So if there are areas you don't want the vacuum to go, it's really easy to just block those off anytime. Plus, you don't even need to wait for the vacuum to finish mapping to add these no-go areas, which is awesome. On the other hand, you can also use the map to choose a specific area or multiple specific areas at once to clean if you don't want to do a full run and you can even have it go over these areas up to three times, which is neat. Or if you just want it to clean one specific spot, you can even tell it to go to any place on the map and then do a spot cleaning around there. And in all of these cases, it's able to automatically return to its charging base. So obviously I'm really impressed with how much you can actually do thanks to the impressive mapping abilities. Before we get into the rest of all the stuff you can do in the app, I'd better go over the vacuum itself. I'm personally a big fan of the design. It's just super modern and sleek looking. It has a side brush, which allows it to reach along edges of walls and in corners and push dirt into the path of the main brush. And that main brush is really interesting too, because it has these rubber sections designed to prevent hair from tangling in it and make whatever does happen to get wrapped around it easier to remove. And it does actually seem to work well. Also on the bottom, you can see it has two huge spring-loaded wheels which allow it to climb over obstacles up to two centimeters high. And I've definitely found this to be the case because my bed frame has this long metal base which is about 1.5 centimeters high with just a straight vertical edge and it has no problem powering over that. There are also cliff sensors on the bottom to make sure it doesn't fall down any stairs or anything. So you'd wanna make sure that those stay clean so they can work properly. As I mentioned before, the Roborock S5 does have the ability to mop as it cleans if you want. Though you can of course run it without the mop, like if it's gonna be cleaning a carpet. There's this included water tank piece that you literally just fill with water, then slide on one of the two included mopping pads after you pre-wet it a bit, and slide the whole thing into place under the back of the vacuum. It's super simple. Then there are these two wicks that transfer the water from the tank onto the pad so it stays wet as it's going. And the water in the tank lasts about 30 minutes or so before you should refill it, but that takes like two seconds. Then once it's done, I like to just toss the mopping pad in the washing machine for whenever I do my next load of laundry. Oh, and by the way, there is a plastic mat you can attach to the docking station that's actually waterproof and it will prevent any leftover water from dripping onto the floor once it's finished. So this was definitely well thought out. Now, of course, we can't forget about the dustbin and the filter. The filter is an E11 class filter, which means it has 95% efficiency. And the suction power is 2000 Pascals, which is a unit of pressure, making it one of the most powerful vacuums on the market right now. But what I especially like about this vacuum is you can literally just wash out everything in the sink with water, even the filter itself because it's Teflon coated. After you dump out the junk in the bin, the instructions recommend about once a week, you can just fill up the bin with water, shake it a bit, 
and dump it out a few times until it's clean obviously making sure it dries before you use it again. Finally, on the vacuum itself, there are a few things I haven't mentioned yet, like the buttons on the top, which you can use to start a full cleaning run, do a spot cleaning, or return it to the charging base. But let's be real here, if you're gonna use this vacuum, you should really use the app to take full advantage of it. Around the sides, there are sensors out the wazoo here, including a front bumper, which obviously can detect if it collides with something, and there's also a bumper sensor on the top laser unit so it doesn't get stuck underneath anything. And there's also wall sensors so it can clean as close to edges as possible. Oh, and inside the lid, it also comes with a convenient storage spot with a little cleaning tool so you're not gonna lose it, which you can use on the brush and filter if needed. Finally, I'll go over my experience using the vacuum and some of the other features in the app. When you go to do a cleaning, you have four different suction powers, which are quiet, balanced, turbo, and max plus a specific mopping mode, which it says is meant to be used on already swept floors, but I couldn't really notice a difference in the cleaning pattern besides maybe just using a lower suction. I personally really like the quiet mode because it actually isn't very loud at all, for a vacuum at least. If you're standing right next to it, it's about 65 decibels, and most of the noise on that mode seems to just come from the brush, not even the vacuum motor. I guess how I describe it on that mode is that it's just low enough noise where you won't have a problem talking over it. And the noise doesn't travel too badly either, so especially if it's in another room, it's easy to ignore. Now on the higher settings, like max especially, it's quite a bit louder obviously, so I'd probably only want to run that if I'm not home or I won't be near it while it's running. I'll also mention that I like how the wheel are all either rubber or rubberized, so they don't really make much noise rolling around on the hardwood laminate flooring I have, which my downstairs neighbors will probably appreciate. Another neat feature is the option for carpet mode, where if it detects that it moves onto a carpet, it actually increases the suction power. So that way, for example, you can use it in quiet mode, but still give it a good cleaning ability once it gets into the carpeted areas where more suction is necessary. And by the way, yes, of course, you can schedule cleanings in any way you want using a feature called timers here. So for example, you can create one timer schedule where it repeats every weekday at a certain time and in a certain mode, such as on max suction while you're at work. And then you can also create another one where it makes a run on weekends on quiet mode maybe. Some other various features include keeping track of when to replace components like the filter and brushes, and when you should clean these sensors. And you can also use the app as a remote control to drive the vacuum around. And I like that it has a joystick mode, which is really intuitive and kind of fun. And the app also gives you access to the robot from anywhere because it connects to your Wi-Fi network and you link it to a Xiaomi account that you make when you set it up. So you can keep track of it while you're out of the house, get cleaning notifications, and that sort of thing, which is nice. As for battery life, I found it to be more than sufficient. The product specs claim it will run about 2.5 hours on a charge, which I found to be pretty accurate. I don't have a huge house or anything, just an apartment, but on quiet mode, it runs for a bit over an hour, and I don't even think it even went below 70%. However, I don't have any carpeting, so that's probably a factor. In any case though, even if it does get low on battery, it will automatically return to the docking station, recharge, and continue where it left off, so you don't even have to worry about it. All in all, I'm legitimately impressed with the Roborock S5, and I'm not just saying that because this video is sponsored. I'm really gonna be using this in my place regularly. It's hard to beat the features, and especially at this price point, I definitely say it's worth it if you're looking for a robot vacuum in this budget range. So again, if you wanna check it out, I'll put links in the description to Amazon and on Roborock's website. And so I think that's it. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful, especially if you were thinking about getting one of these vacuums. Now you at least have one more to consider. And again, I wanna give a big thanks to Roborock for sponsoring this video. Of course, thanks to all of you as well for watching. And if you wanna subscribe, I make a few new videos every week, so it should be worth it. If you wanna keep watching, I'll put some videos right here you can just click on. I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys in the comments. So until next time, have a good one.